Okay, in this tutorial we'll just uh, practice a little bit with what we've learned in the last three tutorials about cameras. And so one other thing to notice is uh, this border, this gold yellow border that I have around this camera right here. So I'm zooming in and out. And the other border was the red dotted border when you lock the camera to the view like that. So when it's locked to the view, when I'm zooming in and out, I'm actually changing the position of the camera. If I turn it off, then I'm actually just changing this viewport view like this. So if I go select this other camera up here, camera.002, notice the border goes away. And uh, so I can just select the cameras up here. There's the border. So that tells me that that's the active camera. And that verifies it there in the scene button like this. All right, so I'm going to lock it again real quick. And I'll just change the view there a little bit like that. And I've changed the scene. And then I'll unlock it. Then I can move this viewport display how I want. All right, and so that's important. And then the other thing, though, is right down to here, if you go down to the bottom again where we looked in the go back over to the camera button here and down to the bottom and I don't use this but in case you're doing work for television or something like that and you need to and you're putting titles on, on your TV program you have to make sure you have this safe area checked because this will show you your safe areas and even though I haven't used it this intuitively tells me that this must be for 16 by 9 the wide, the wider triangle, and this must be for the older 4x3 NTSC standard. So you want to make sure your titles are within those borders to display correctly. You, you have to verify that on your own because I haven't run anything out the tape, and I have no reason to at this point. So that's a yeah, that would be an important feature as well. And then let me see, there was something else in here. Oh yeah, this was so this is our camera view that we're looking at right here. And in the previous lesson, what we had done is we had done an animation on camera zero. To see, I have the keyframes set on camera zero. So when, if I just run it with the right arrow key, let's see, yep, there it is, camera zero, it's just it's zooming in and out like that. But that's not necessarily the way you really want to zoom a camera. So say on the next one, when it switches over, it switches over to, now it's over to the, let's see, switches at frame 50 like this actually you don't see it named here it's showing it here it's not highlighting it here you see the how the how it jumps here watch see it's jumped that's highlighted with that little cell circle behind it so then I switch so now I know I'm on camera one this is what I'm looking at is camera one so I'm just gonna click camera one so there it is here. So instead of just taking the camera and maybe moving it in and out as an animation for this, what I can do instead, I'll just change it with the, I'll leave it fixed in that position, but I'll change the focal length. So here's the focal length right here. It's set at 35 millimeters. And that's the view in the scene like this. So maybe at frame 50 where that camera starts kicking in you can see it right there it changes it to, so that'll be the new camera and so what I can come up here and I can just press I when I'm right in here I'll press I and it, that'll set a keyframe it turns it yellow so now I know I've set that keyframe and then slowly it would come up here towards come up to frame 99 right before it's about to switch and I'll come up here and I'll just change this to say a 150 millimeter lens. And I'll also press I. And well, we can see that's too far, but that's okay. It just kind of gives us the idea of what it's doing anyway. All right, so now when I come back in here and run the animation from the beginning, the first camera should zoom in by being moved. And then it switches. The next one's zooming in with the focal length change, the next one just switches it to it. All right, that's moving the camera. That's a focal length change on the animation. And that's just the camera itself. Okay. All right, well, that's it for this lesson. And I'll see you in the next lesson.